Love you, people, man. Don't forget, we'll be back on the 18th, man. These guys probably be doing sound for us, picking audio. Doing a great job out there. Everybody, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't. Okay. Oh, yeah. I work. I work. We kicked. Yes. No, it hurt. Bring it in there. My man, come in the camera. Let's go. Let's go okay, Vicky, come in the camera. Yes. Here we go. Hello. So what did we do? We kicked. We, we kicked ass, man. Kicked ass. I can do that too, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but I never yeah, had pictures in there. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 That horse ain't for sale, Doc. But uh... Oh, come, honey. No, no, really, I was in there. See? Hey, come on the other side. Maybe you'll recognize me. Maybe you recognize me. Maybe you recognize me. Let's go! Let's go! Guys, 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 guys
Let's see. Well, you better tell her they thought you were going to McDonald's. I don't know. Wait a minute. But I've got to change uniforms. I'm not going to go swimming like this. Well, I guess we're going there first. I am sweaty. Moonhead, there you go. Everything was great. I hope you got me flying off stage. If you didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we make progress? Yeah. That's good. One, two, move, move, go, go, go. All right, we got a jet. Show here. We're jetting, Scott. Mike. Sean Connor. Remember? Turn around, show me your car. Swipe on tires. Thank you. Get everybody started. Scott. Scott, you got one. We're leaving. You're not going. You're leaving. You're leaving. You're leaving. You're leaving. You're leaving. Bye, everyone. Bye.
I wish you were a bear! I wish you were... Wait, wait, I have to turn around. I wish you were a beer. A Budweiser. A Budweiser. Bush. A Budweiser. I wish you were a beer. I like too. I wish you were a beer, Dad. Uh, I don't drink. Sorry. Dad's there. Look, it's Snoopy. Get Bridges Cafe over there. Snoopy. Get Bridges Cafe. I can't tape the same. But where is it? Oh, there it is. I already did this before. Ah, zoom. Real big letters. Bridges Cafe. And Neil's tattoo. Everybody. We love you! Oh, oh, awesome show! All the blind tigers are clearing in. Don't stand in the way. Get out of the way! Sean! No, I'm not sure. You ass. can't say that on, on the video. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know! There's everybody and everything! What do you think of blind tiger? Oh, come on, in, in, more, in 50 words or less, not one. Awesome. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can deal with that. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Take care! Bye! bye. Everybody's going bye bye Everybody's going bye bye Daddy, Daddy! Yeah, bye. Bye-bye. Daddy, we're going bye bye Yes, sir, go bye bye Go bye bye Yes. Go bye bye What do you think of Blind Tiger? What do I think about Blind Tiger? Yeah, what do you think about Blind Tiger? Don't get too close, you're getting scary, man. What do you think about Blind Tiger? Alright. Uh, no. <laughs> what? Just kidding. <laughs> What'd you say, Tracy? I'm gonna like, zoom this up to your face, kind of like. <laughs> can I? <laughs> Tracy? Oh. Wait. Get out of here! Oh wait, come here, come here, Tracy. What? This is blind tiger file footage, cleavage. I don't have any cleavage. Do you have any cleavage, Ernie? Don't think so. I do. Tori, Tori, don't fool with the camera anymore. Please put it away. Oh. I want to go home. Thank you to, for coming to Bridges Cafe. Today is August 14th. It's Wednesday, 1991, for Blind Tigers at Bridges Cafe. No, hold it up, hold it up. Get ready. That's, that's lip service. That's that will go that's, awesome with my shirt. Yes. It says lip yeah, service on it. Found something. Say bye bye, go bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Oh, Burgess Cafe, yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, we'll turn around. Boy, you guys excited? You guys are coming down. Blind Tiger, yeah. remember? Yeah. Remember? Who's pressure? Hi Nick. Okay, no. No, I got everything uh, to the I got end. Jesus holes in them. Yo, give me a light, hey. Right. I'm working on it. Hold these. Legs. Yo. Yo, Vicky, take your brush. Yeah. I don't want to. Hey, drop it. Yeah. Where'd it go? Right, don't worry. Yeah. 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 Went home. <laughs> Vicky, take your brush. <laughs> Hello, what a force. We'll be here Sunday. Vital Force. Yeah, you're going to be here with this cam Everybody camcorder, does. right? This camcorder right here, you're going to be there, right? Vital Force, all ages. Vital Force, all ages. Get the end of her Nice. Ooh, that's he knows how to make an exit. Right you guys just Ooh, wanna turn around again. See every move you're making. You know, so you go frame by frame. If I did it by two or four hours, you wouldn't be able to do it all the way. You see the fun. Yeah, right there. Here. You know? We even got flowers. Are you Vital Force, too? No, he's just a roadie. He's a roadie. Oh, hi, roadie. This is what you want to say. Wait, wait, hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah, hold it up. Put it on the floor. Okay. Wait, we have one more. Oh! oh shit. Yeah, we got light on that thing. See, Tiger Strikes, Tiger Strikes. I watch Ron. You have to see right through the camera. Yeah, I know. Don't film the whole stupid point. stuff. I'm filming stupid stuff, Dad, because we need, like, a blind tiger memorabilia. Write it down, Tracy's clothes. I take it they came with all this stuff, right? What? They, take, they came with I'm all this stuff. I'm a pervert. This is just for Scott. Scott, this is... All the cleavage shots are just for Scott Matthew Laflamme, the lead guitarist, the Blind Tiger. Hey, I don't have any cleavage shots.
don't care. I've never seen you. You are like a bitch in heat. Can I help it if every man that sees me wants me? You're practically unzipping their pants with your eyes. Jealous? No. Jealous, just like I thought. <laughs> Are you beginning to sound just like my mother? I'm not kidding, Olympia. We gotta get him out of here. Well, you do it because I'm busy. <sighs> Let's go. Are you really gonna do it with this gross jerk? Leave me alone, Santangelo. You're a real pain in the butt. <laughs> Miss Goody Goody. Why don't you go up and Be like you. Oh, thanks. It's lucky. Could I speak to my father? Hi, Daddy. In case you're wondering, I'm going to tell you where you can find me. like these before because you've never seen lip color like this lip advance from covergirl it looks different it lasts different the cream powder color clings the top coat's lush and moist so lip advance lasts yeah. and lasts and lasts how much longer sir and lasts lip advance lip color covergirl redefining beautiful it's impossible Georgia Red Clay ground into my son's uniform. It's impossible to keep his pants white. I didn't even think tied with bleach could get them white. You'll see. Take a dirty sock. Gets only this white with other detergents, but tied with bleach gets it gleaming white. They looked as good as if I'd used liquid bleach. He looked great. Thanks, Tide. Jan Ralston. If it's gotta be clean, it's gotta be Tide. That was me, Christina Ferrari, before I lost 25 pounds in three months on the Ultra Slim Fast plan. That was over a year ago, but the best part is I haven't gained back any of the weight. In fact, I weigh even less now than I did before the baby. The plan is easy. A delicious filling shake for breakfast, another for lunch, then a sensible dinner. This past year, Ariana got a lot bigger. But thanks to Ultra Slim Fast, I got a lot slimmer. Ultra Slim Fast, give us a week, we'll take off the weight. Ben Gay welcomes back all the people who tried one of those other pain relievers, but found that for them, nothing works better than Ben Gay. It warms away pain with two pain relievers, not just one. Welcome back to Ben Gay, America's best selling pain relief rub. I'm dreaming of summer, cool breezes, fresh air. When I want that feeling, summer's eve takes me there. It's clean, fresh feeling, keeps the good times on my mind. Summer's eve brings back freshness anytime. Jackie Collins' lucky chances will return following these messages. Thursday, the Cosbys are expecting a new child and the whole family can hardly wait. This is gonna be good. But did you really think it would be that simple? No. Starting Thursday, the Cosby household will never be the same again. <laughs> Cosby, followed by a different world, cheers and grand, all on NBC Thursday. Coming up tonight at 11. It's a simple test, but if you fail it, you could lose your job. Employee drug testing is a growing habit in Connecticut. Can your boss demand you take this test, and are you required to comply? Connecticut News reporter Cheryl Gray will show us how employees are screened for drug and alcohol use. Find out how to protect yourself by learning the facts about drug testing. For the events that affect your life, watch Connecticut News at 11. 
Lowell Weicker and Bruce Morrison have criticized John Rowland's bold plan to balance the state budget. But that doesn't surprise you, does it? Because both Bruce Morrison and Lowell Weicker are liberals. Both have promised to increase spending, and neither will rule out a state income tax. I'm against a state income tax, and I will reduce state spending. That's a conservative approach, and that's the Rowland difference. John Rowland, leading the Connecticut comeback. Drugs in the workplace. We'll see how bad the problem really is tonight at 11. Jackie Collins' Lucky Chances continues, starring Nicolette Sheridan, Vincent Irizarry, and Eric Braden. Gino Santangelo. Dimitri Stanislopoulos, I'm sorry that we have to meet under such circumstances. I guess that's the way it is. Daughters. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Show me. What the hell's been going on here? Nothing you want to know about. Where's Olympia? In the bedroom. Where else? She's not enjoying this. If it was your idea, you should take credit for it. Oh, I do. I do, all the way to the bank. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. I'm so proud of my old lady. Oh, watch the old lady. Thank you very much. Oh, my God, you're such a strong woman. I really love you. I love you, too, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. This is really wonderful. Maybe I'll write a book someday. <laughs> How's the law business? It's good. It's good. Mr. Lester, how are you? Just fine. It's Steve. Hey, Steven. If only your mother was five years younger. No offense, Mr. Lester. What a wonderful night. What an achievement. It's everyone's dream to write a book. And you did it. If only they knew. They never will. We covered your tracks well. No one would ever associate Carrie Jones from Harlem with the elegant Carolyn Dimes, African Princess. princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes I wonder if I should have told Stephen the truth. Would it have done any good? Maybe he's entitled to know who his real father is instead of believing he's dead. Don't even think about it. You made the correct decision. If he knew his father was Gino Santangelo, it would cause him nothing but problems. A mistake. A one-night mistake. No, not a mistake. You have Stephen. And I have you. I'm a very fortunate woman. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, Bernard. Gino hasn't killed you yet? What's he waiting for? Don't worry, he will. Well, what did he say on the plane? Did he give you a hard time? Why would he give me a hard time, Dario? He only cares because he can't control me. Sometimes I think he'd be perfectly happy if I vanished out of his life forever. Well, at least you're out of school. I mean, that's, that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. But you know, Gino, the silent treatment won't last. And I'm in for it. Is Mark around? Are you still lusting? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I think
everything is in Vegas. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. Well, I think I'm gonna sneak a scotch. Things can't get any worse. Since when did you take up booze? You'd be surprised at all the habits I've acquired. Living with Olympia was quite an education. How about you? Life exciting? <laughs> no way. You were the one that was parading around the south of France. You had all the freedom. Oh, wasn't that great. Olympia turned out to be boy crazy. Well, how about you? Didn't you know? I'm saving myself for Marco. Yeah, you'll have a long wait. Don't be so sure of it, little brother. I'll see you later. Mmm. You look serious. What do you want? A song and dance? It's about time you and I had a little talk, young lady. Shaking my socks. Knock it off with the wisecracks, kid. I've been trying to figure out what to do with you, Lucky. Have you? Yeah. And this is the way it's gonna be. You wanna run around like a wild thing? You wanna make out with guys? Hey, if that's what you want, then I've come up with the perfect solution. I don't make out with guys. Olympia did that. Get it straight. You gotta remember one thing. You're my daughter, and I don't have to listen to your lip. What are you going to do? What any sane father would do. I'm going to take care of the problem. How? Hey, kid, you just watch me. <laughs> Senator! Gino! Thanks for coming. It's been a while. Well, you didn't really give me a choice. You said it was urgent. I'm here. Yeah. Last time we saw each other was at Maribel's party for that bullfighter, right? I believe so. Mm. Beautiful woman, huh? Yes. Well, it's like this, Senator. That fundraiser that Maribel talked me into giving for you, that made a lot of money, right? That's correct. Good. I'm pleased. Now I'm going to do you another favor. Really? These pictures came into my possession. Don't ask me how, but I thought that you should have them. Now, I'm sure I don't have to tell you what pictures like those could do in the wrong hands. It's nothing like a juicy scandal to kill a hot political career stone dead, wouldn't you say? Gino, I'm more than grateful. If there's anything that I can do in return. As a matter of fact, there is. You, Craven Richmond, take this woman, Lucky St. Angelo, to be a lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Lucky St. Angelo, take this man, Craven Richmond, to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Ring, please. She would place that on her finger with the words, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. By your promises before God and this assembly, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Congratulations, it was a fantastic. Come on, Lucky. 
Thanks for the applause. <laughs> Brides are supposed to be happy. Yeah, brides are supposed to choose their husbands, not have their fathers force them into it. Now, Gina's really gone too far this time, marrying me off like it's in the Middle Ages. Well, it's done. I've got to make the best of it. Yeah, I guess I don't have a choice for now. Thanks a lot, buddy. It's lovely. Monkey. Oh, there you are. Hey, Leo. This old politician's kid, huh? <laughs> Papa must be proud. Why don't you ask him? What the hell is he doing here? I can take it that you're not too uh, pleased with this arrangement. Gino thinks that this is the way to control me. Do you know something? He's wrong. Lucky, listen to me. I'm your godfather. Anything you want, anytime you come to me. Remember that. You're a gutsy girl, and I like that. Glad someone finally recognizes it. Don't ever forget it. my time. Progress. Performance. Now, to improve the condition of my skin every day, I've discovered new Plenitude Action Liposomes. Skin care of the future from L'Oreal. Plenitude Liposomes target skin's vulnerable areas, providing nourishing care where and when it is needed. Visibly improved, my skin looks younger. Plenitude Action Liposomes from L'Oreal to reduce the signs of aging. And I'm worth it. And now, snack previews. They were so young, so hungry. Mom, I'm hungry! Where could they turn? Over here! It's my microwave snack cakes and brownies. Have any special effects? Yes, fresh baked snack cakes in four and a half minutes. So delicious, you'll exclaim... Honey, it's fresh baked. I know. All your dreams come true, snack-wise. Oh, nothing says loving like my microwave snack cakes and brownies. <laughs> You've heard all about cold relief. Now you're going to hear about hot relief. New Tylenol cold and flu. With more medicine than any other hot liquid flu formula. Heat releases the power of this lemony medicine. With three cold and flu fighters for your coughing, sneezing, and congestion. Plus Tylenol pain reliever for your fever, sore throat, aches, and pains. New Tylenol cold and flu. Part of Tylenol's complete cold relief line. Nobody cares for your cold like Tylenol cold. Are they ready yet? I'm still working on it. Rice Krispies treats are so easy to make, they take no time at all. These things take time. But they taste so good. Your family will think you slaved over them all afternoon. And if that's what they think, well, what they don't know won't hurt them. Rice Krispies treats. Honey? Mom! Oh, you shouldn't have knocked yourself out. Jackie Cullen's lucky chances will return following these messages. There are some secrets that should never be revealed. How could you? He didn't know I was married. I kept it a secret, too. I had no idea he was your son. I want you and your baby out of my house. I won't let you go to her. Do you know how sordid this is? Generations on NBC. Good evening, I'm Van Hackett. Torrington police tonight are investigating the death of a man at the YMCA. An autopsy on the victim is scheduled for tomorrow. The Senate has started a debate on the latest deficit reduction plan. A vote is scheduled for midnight at the earliest, according to one source. And drug usage in the workplace. It's on the rise, according to a Gallup poll survey. Cheryl Gray will have a special report at 11 on Connecticut News.
We'll have more news in half an hour. In my day, you got married first. Mom, I'm 32 years old. I make a good living. I need the investment. Buying this house has nothing to do with being married. What about the mortgage? Your father and I have been paying ours for almost 30 years. I've already worked out the financing at the bank. So what I want to know is... When, when are, are you going to get married? Want something interesting for dinner? Start chopping. Or try Shady Brook Farms' new marinated turkey cutlets. Farm fresh cutlets drenched in a variety of marinades. Like zesty Italian, your honey orange, even mesquite smoke. They all cook up easy in minutes. So if you're forever fussing with unidentified frozen objects, try Shady Brook Farms' new marinated turkey cutlets. Deliciously fresh, deliciously different. People say that Connecticut is the richest state in this country. And yet, when I talk to people in this community, they're telling me about how financially squeezed they are, that it is harder and harder to make ends meet. And they're coping with the high costs of health care, with housing, with child care, with taxes. I believe that we ought to put government on the side of working and middle class families. That's what I'd like to fight for in the United States Congress. Rosa DeLauro, making government work for people. Rosa DeLauro for Congress. Cheers. Weekdays at 5.30 on WVIT. Jackie Collins' Lucky Chances continues. Starring Nicolette Sheridan, Vincent Irizarry, and Anne-Marie Johnson. Carolyn, he was so worried about Bernard. How is he feeling? Oh, Larry. Yes, he did give us quite a scare. He's feeling much better now. It's so good to hear Thank you so much for asking. Give him our best. Nice to see you. OK? All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> you work too hard, Stephen. I never see you. Hey, listen to you. Well, you got a book on style and fashion. You're caught up in this whole social thing here. When do I ever get a chance to see you? We're having lunch now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'm very happy to say. All right, come on. Fill me in and all your friends. How is Eddie Lucci. Is it true he's joined the FBI? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the guy loves it. <laughs> Lenny? Lenny. Still waiting for the big break. And his very pretty girlfriend. What was her name? Eden. Mm, Eden. Very ambitious. And pushing very hard. She wants to make it in Hollywood. I'll see you next week. Okay. Ma, this is getting all too social for me. I gotta get back to the grind. Mm. What are you working on now? Well, it's strictly confidential. But I suppose if I can't trust my own mother... It's like this. We're going after one of the big crime families. Now, Eddie and I are working on a very special assignment. Yes? You could say, uh, we want to nail these guys good. Who? The Bonatti family. Enzio Bonatti? Ma! <laughs> You've been reading the papers. I'm impressed. Oh, Try to keep up. We've been after Bonatti's for some time. Now, oh, we've also been keeping our eye on another family that Bonatti's had connections with over the years. A man by the name of Gino Santangelo. Eddie and I have an excellent chance of putting him away on tax evasion charges. Now, it's about time we started making examples of some of these big shots around here. Santangelo's into laundering money. Bonatti's the real prize. But if we can nail Santangelo, we're one step closer to taking these guys down. recognize you. You look sensational. Look pretty good yourself. All right, all right. Enough with the compliments. It has been a long time, hasn't it? Only a lifetime. 
I did try to call you. You know that, don't you? I tried several times. And then you just vanished. When you resurfaced, you were married to Bernard. I figured I'd do you a favor and stay out of your life. <laughs> I miss you, Gina. Hey, you ran out on me, remember? You helped me once. That was enough. Well, at least everything turned out great, right? I mean, look at you. I can't get over it. I have something very important to tell you, Gino. That's why I called. I figured that. It's about my son, Stephen. Yeah. Stephen's connected with the FBI and the prosecutor's office. He's been tracking the Bonatti family. And along the way, somehow or other, he's come up with a case against you. Me? Some kind of tax evasion charge that can result in putting you away. Do you know, I had to warn you. I don't understand. How come you're taking this kind of a risk? Why are you going against your own son to warn me? Do you know that one night we spent together? Well, the reason why I haven't contacted you, the reason why I vanished. I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to come out straight. Gino, my son Stephen is your son, too. I'm telling you this, although it's something I never thought I'd do. My son, but... Do you know? Promise me you'll never let Stephen know the truth, or anyone else for that matter. Do you know? Can you promise me? So I said to this guy, if I have dinner with you, does that mean I get the part? And the guy says, honey, you'll get my part. <laughs> and I said, honey, that's not the part I'm after. <laughs> and would you? What? Sleep with him. He'd give you a roll. Oh, come on, Lenny, lighten up. No, I'm asking you a question. You're ambitious enough, aren't you? Well, there's nothing wrong with ambition. I don't want to end up like you, doing one-nighters and cheap dives and kissing up to sleazy club owners. Well, from what I hear, you're pretty damn good at kissing up. Hey, you want to cool it here? Settle down? We're supposed to be having a good time, remember? Yeah, Stanley, can I get the check? Get some kissing up to do. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? We are happily gathered here today to celebrate the fifth wedding anniversary of my son, Craven, and our daughter-in-law, Lucky. Get up. Don't tell me what to do. Get up. Everybody's watching us. They want us to cut the cake. I'm sure my wife joins me in hoping that we don't have to wait another five years for them to give us some grandchildren. <laughs> Good to see you. Okay. <laughs> you want to make a baby? <laughs> Thank you, but no thanks. <laughs> Look, um, my parents really want us to do this. For them them, for us. What does it matter, huh? They want it, we should do it. I'm going for a drive. Well, you know, you spend more time in your car than you do in our bed. See you, Craven. So how's things in Virginia? I can't take it anymore. It's a nightmare, Dario. I want out. My life is nothing but fundraisers and boring dinner parties. 
And, and a husband who runs to his father every time he has to make a decision. So what are you going to do? I am not a 17-year-old kid anymore. I don't have to stick around just because Daddy says so. I'm getting out. Well, uh, factor this into your plans. Gino has summoned me to New York. I'll be on the next plane. He wants to see you, too. Really? Well, why didn't he call me? He will. I just want to tell you first. Well, do you have any idea what's going on? No, I guess we're going to find out when we get there. I'll be there. This is perfect. Okay. Can't wait to see you, sis. Bye. What are you doing? I'm going to New York. My father wants to see me family business. You can't go running off to New York without me. How will it look? Is that all you care about? What people will think? Yeah, appearances are important. <laughs> Let's get the facts straight, Craven. I can do anything without you, and I'm going to. Our marriage was a joke from the beginning. Now, it's over. going on? Lucky's going to New York. She says on family business. Is she... What am I, invisible? Now, come on, Peter. You know as well as I, this was never an ideal marriage. Now, maybe you can come up with some sort of a press release, something that won't tarnish the Richmond family image. Well, my dear, I'm sorry to see it end this way. But if you and Craven aren't happy, I suppose it is for the best. <laughs> I suppose you won't be coming back? No. My father needs me. Lucky? Not so little anymore, huh? Hi, Gino. Hey, kid. Look at you. You look like one of those hippies or something out of a rock group. Get yourself a haircut. I like his hair the way it is. You would. I don't like something and you do. Isn't that the way it always is? Lucky. It's so wonderful to see you again. Oh, hi, Costa. Mm. How's Jen? Oh, she's just fine. May we all have dinner together? Oh, I'd love that. Can we get started, please? Uh, Mark, would you give me a scotch? Sure. And don't water it down. I'm not a little girl anymore. I can see that. So, you're probably wondering why I called you both here today. I got to take a little vacation, leave the country for a while. Maybe a few months, maybe longer. Why is that? 